Okay, so, hi, this is the first time I've made a video in a while, but uh, if you're watching this, you've probably heard by now that uh, the iPod Touch and iPhone firmware 2.0 has been released. And obviously, as you should know, the App Store was included with this firmware. So today, I'm gonna walk you through all the new features in 2.0 and hopefully throughout the week I'll be able to add reviews of different applications that I've downloaded and bought. So um, the first thing that I'm going to show you will probably be the main feature that I'll be using to uh, make this video. I'm deciding, I've decided I'm going to make it in a new way. Instead of videotaping my iPod screen, um, I'm probably going to use the new feature that was included with this firmware, and that would be to take a snapshot of the screen. I'm pretty sure that it's been implemented for developers to use when they're making their own games, so they can give you screenshots of what the game looks like. So, uh, to take a picture of the screen, it'll be saved into your camera roll in Photos, and as far as I know, it, I haven't tested it yet, it should be synced back with iTunes when you plug in your iPod or iPhone. And to take the picture, you can either quickly press uh, the power button, slash sleep wake, um, and then the home button, or press the home button and then the sleep wake button. And the screen will flash white if you've done it su uh, successfully. And then you should see something appearing in your photos called uh, saved photos or something like that. And uh, I'll just test that now. So here's a picture of my home screen. So as you can see, um, with 2.0, there were other things changed other than the addition of the App Store, which you could see in the bottom left corner of my screen. The iTunes button has changed to, uh, instead of a circle with an arrow in it, it's now a circle with a musical note in it. Uh, additionally, the calculator button has changed. The round buttons were, have now become uh, square buttons. So this is another new feature from uh, in 2.0. I'll take a picture. Uh, I'll just take pictures whenever I feel needed, and then you'll see them. Uh, I may switch between the pictures, direct capture screenshots, and actually filming the uh, screen of my iPod. Uh, so here's what the new calculator screen looks like. And then another new feature that was uh, implemented is the addition if you rotate uh, if you rotate your iPod into landscape view when in the calculator your screen will become a scientific calculator and it'll look like this. So, um, also another new feature added would be, not really added, but just a bit tweaked from the previous firmware, uh, would be in Maps now. Um, the Locate Me can now follow your position wherever you go if you change it. Originally, it would just find your position, but now it can follow you, sort of GPS-like. Um, also, the button for the, uh, the button for the little roll-up thingy, I'm not sure what it's called, has changed. And it now looks like the little roll-up thingy. Um, another option has been added to that little roll-up thingy, too. <laughs> and it's for traffic, but considering my poor signal at my home... There well not just poor signal, but my location of my home. There's no traffic available in this area, and it can't find my location. Which basically brings me to my next topic: some of the apps which were included in the App Store um, can use your location to find out features near you. So well, I've separated my uh, home screen into three different sections. There's my main screen, which I use the most, which I showed you earlier. Um, 
then there's my second screen which I'm using for games then there's my third screen which I'm using for other utilities and here's a screenshot of the other utilities option or page I mean uh, on here you can see I have stocks which I rarely use Facebook ro uh, remote pocketpedia box office urban spoon YP mobile and where but unfortunately because it can't can never find my location over Wi-Fi I can't use uh, box office urban spoon YP mobile or where because these try to find my location and if I try to enter my location manually basically I live in Canada and these applications haven't been localized for Canada so I can't really use them. I'm just keeping them on there just in case, in case any updates come that will allow the use of Canadian addresses. Um, then here's the shot of my games page. And on here you can see I have Monkey Ball, Cube Runner, Tap Tap Revenge, Cube Rise, Trism, Aurora Faint, Aqua Forest, and Eni Enigmo, I think something like that um so yeah I think that's basically about it I'll show you I'll show you uh, views hopefully I'll I'm gonna aim to post one each day until I can get through them all not all the applications in the App Store but all the applications that I've downloaded um oh I guess I should take you through the actual App Store too for those who haven't seen it. One second. Here is what the main screen of the App Store uh, currently looks like. It lists a whole bunch of different applications, obviously. You can use or download any of them. Some of them are free. Um, so the, the highest one I think that right now, or highest price I mean, is $40. But there's not a chance that I'm going to be getting that anytime soon. So we can also choose what's hot from the top menu here. One second. Okay, this is taking an incredibly long time to load. Uh, I'll just skip to another section. We can browse by category. Oh, well, look at that. It's taking an incredibly long time to load. Um, one second. Oh, no, here it is. Okay, so you can see all the different categories here. Now, I've noticed this, or uh, the amount of applications growing up uh, every day. Today, the game's... Uh, their amount of games hit 200 so that's pretty good um, we can also browse by top 25 uh, the, and those subcategories in there are the top paid and the top free as you could probably see at the top there we can also search for an application and we can view the updates for our applications so uh, I'll just walk you through the downloading process for a free application here. Okay, so the top free applications right now uh, are okay. Just my internet connection sucks. Just wait a moment.